Lotus has been famous for its mid-engine sports cars for many years now. And that layout always gives us a beautifully balanced proportion. The upper part of the car sits perfectly between the wheels. The proportion is very beautiful. Every Lotus has been about adding lightness. And of course, really clever aerodynamics. The way that the air is taken through the car, not just over it, creates beautiful shapes. We've used all of these design principles, plus the fact that we don't have a traditional internal combustion engine means it is unique. And with Electra, we've created the first Lotus SUV. Designing the Electra was really a journey of applying hypercar principles to an SUV. The cabin on the car is set forward to really give you a strong sense of the mid-engine proportion that everyone recognises Lotus for, and it gives you a really strong indication that this is an EV. The sculpture of the car is really dominated by the bold muscular fenders over the wheels that emphasise the power. The vehicle has a really planted stance. We've managed to achieve this by elongating the wheelbase and creating the effect of very, very short overhangs. We have one dynamic line that flows all the way from the sharp line at the front through the side of the car, culminating with a light blade at the rear of the car. The sculpture of the car is really defined by the idea of it being carved by air. It's very much where we've reduced material from the body and it's visually sculpted away by the airflow moving around the car. The interior represents a bold, fresh statement for Lotus. It's a combination of performance meeting up with technical artistry to give us something unique. Dynamic lines divide the interior space and they give us this really strong sense of precision and technology. The whole cabin has a very spacious, light, airy feeling, allowing you to really enjoy the drive. The ultra-thin wing profiles define the interior theme and beneath that, there's a ribbon of technology that runs across the car. The interior is driver-focused, and we are demonstrating our belief and conviction in the role of technology to truly make it a Lotus. Progressive, fully electric, a fantastic lifestyle product. So, you know, when you launched the Vision 80, did you ever kind of imagine you'd be here now at this sort of moment in time? Well, actually, I did, because I helped write the strategy. So uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> we, knew, we knew we were going to be here. But I have to say, the effort that's gone in and the hard work that's gone in for everybody at Lotus across the globe to get us to this point and delivering on time is the important thing. Very much so. And obviously, Jensen, you, um, you, know, you live in America. Kind of, what's the perception of Lotus over in the States? Uh, a lot of love. Um, I drive my, I've got an Evora GT at the moment and I get a lot of love, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, they're going to go mad for this. They really are. Um, and what, what I really love about it is you can tell they're all from the same family. You know, the, the Elettra, um, the Amira and the Avaya. If you took the badge off, you would know they're all a Lotus. And then, you know, when they're in your like, like, very nice wide garage and they're all next to each other, that pleases you. Well, I'm, I'm sure the, my wife will be out in one of them. It's probably this one more. I've got kids now, I'm a family man. So, uh, yeah, it's perfect for the kids in the back. I mean, obviously now, you know, it's a British company that's, you know, going global and it's got this kind of global appeal. You must be proud of that achievement. Yeah, I think you've seen through all the uh, contributions tonight. We are one team, we're a global team and we need to be to take on this challenge that we've got in front of us. But it's very exciting and we're, we all work very closely together.